Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear, Warhammer Electric. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be learning about the plans. And more specifically the electrical plans, but we're going to go through um, a lot of them to kind of go through them one by one and see how we can do. So let's just jump right into it. So your cover page is a pretty good page to know. Um, it'll tell you things like the, the location of the project. In this particular case, this one's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, who it's drawn by, who has the copyrights of it. Usually this is by the engineer. Um, you know, MM and Jay-Z. So, um, typically the set always has like this particular information like um, you know when it was drawn which is pretty recent uh, who the owner is the architect plumbing mechanical and electrical and sometimes it'll be MEP which is every single one of these persons under one name and then um, acoustical you know so usually it'll have this type of set of information you know whether it's stamped or not will tend to be here in the right hand corner the design group which is going to be your architect you know so this is just your cover page basic knowledge of the project where it's located in the world you know it gives you the address right here and then, you know, they tend to put little things like that. Um, and then, you know, I'll give you the general information of the project, architecturals, interior, fire protection, plumbing, mechanical, and usually the last two are electrical and special systems. Um, and that's just... You know makes it easy for us so we can kind of look at it you know the next page has very like detailed drawings of or very detailed um, you know facts about the project you know this portion is 7316 feet which you might need to know for your permit you know every state's a little bit different and every city is a little bit different in that regard <coughs> you know the maximum occupancy um, just a little bit of everything so if we scroll down you know um, right here to the reflective ceiling plan this is good for you as an electrician to double check um, because basically, you know, this is what the or the grid guy is gonna go off of for you to know, right? So um, he's gonna put his ceiling up right here. So let's just say, you know, I know this offhand, but we can look in their details what it is. But this is a hard lid ceiling, and this hard lid ceiling is eight foot five inches to the top or to the bottom of the the grid okay so you can kind of find little things like that everywhere like right here this particular one's going to be a foot four inches in this area and that may or may not matter to you you know eight foot ceilings but, you know, it'll definitely matter to the HVAC guy for sure, you know, and you want to make sure that you're going to go through the right motions too. But as you can see, like your occupancy sensors, your lights are all, your fire alarm are all this plan. You know, here's the HVAC guy's entrance. So he knows that, you know, where this stuff is going. Where to put tile at when you guys get the proper approvals 
things of that nature, you know, so he knows that he doesn't have to account for that tile, and, you know, you want to cross-reference that on your end to make sure that the lights are where they say they are, you know, type of thing. Um, you know, if you go here, this is like interior elevations, um, you know, you might be able to find like, you know, if this was like a TV per se, you know, you'll be able to see that, you know, in this TV, whatever, we got it for the receptacle right here. This is what they're mounting it at. You can pretty much account for the receptacle being right there. Um, oh, perfect example. So anything with 26 in it usually is us, uh, electrical anyways. Um, so pay attention to that in the beginning set of your plans. So 26000803, you know, conduit is sealed with track system connecting the tables and the TV, you know, concealed surface mounted track system, etc, etc. Yeah, so there you go. There is that type of thing. So that's always something to be looking out for on the beginning set of the plans. Um, you know, if you put in your proposal that you only bid the electrical plans, you know, that may become unhealthy. But they will expect you to know that 26, you know, is your division. You know, most of the time anyway, it just depends. Um, all right, moving on. So we'll go down to. I already got some more from go watch one of your movies. All right, moving on. So this is the plumbing drawings, the mechanicals. Um, keep going, keep going. The very bottom, we'll find electrical. There we go. E101. So these plans are going to go through every single thing that you can possibly want to know about electrical regarding this particular set of plans. So it is going to tell you right here what every symbol means. So you can reference back and forth what those things are. And, you know, be able, this looks like, you know, just looking at it. On a side note, it looks like a, you know, copy-paste type of deal because there's no way there's this many things um, associated to this particular project. So, we'll... Alright, some key things to make note of on this deal is, you know, one for sure is going to be your symbols. You know, make note of that. Um, but your general notes seem to be the ones that get you. And, um, you know, they, they always try to, like, sneak some stuff in there. So, I mean, we're going to go through it real quick and just take a look. So, conductors operating at 50 volts or greater shall be in a raceway. Um, meaning that... You can throw some um, Cat5 in the air, but obviously that's about it. You know, so um, let's see, provide cable or conduit as required. Do, 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 do. It's your responsibility to make sure that you're following NEC clearances and all that jazz. Uh, and that looks like about roughly it. I'm just kind of quickly reading through it. So here's a good one. Um, Furnishes, furnish and install conduit from back boxes to the following devices into the accessible ceiling space in the corridor unless otherwise noted. 
TV outlet, volume controls, and they want a half inch conduit, half inch conduit, half inch conduit, half inch conduit, um, telephone information data. Once again, I think this is a copy and paste type of deal, you know, like there's no nurse call on this job, so that was a dead giveaway. So this is a demo plan. Um, if you're doing a remodel, you know, you'll have a demo plan, but other than that, you know, it's probably this page will not exist. So this is just saying what the demo existing, you know, which is this right here, note one in like a little hexagon. So note one is a keyed note, which is in this little hexagon it kind of gives you that little thing to look for so note one you know let me go back over here note one right all existing lighting in this project shall be removed unless otherwise noted and since that's literally the only note on this thing it means everything on this plan has got to go. Um, which you can see it's a 2x4 light. You know. Um, this is just like a over the top view of it. You know. So that will be your demo plan. Um, if you want to look at scale. You know. So when you have your full size print labeled um, or printed I mean you will be able to do 316 equals one foot on this particular deal um, you can also kind of just I mean it's demo so you can just count the ceiling tiles realistically so here is the power plan version of what you're going to demo. Um, there are two key notes on here. One is all receptacles in this project area must remain and recircuited, you know, an existing panel to remain and be relocate, relocated off a demising wall in its new location. So when we went and locked this project this panel was exactly where it says it is and you know allegedly they wanted it to be relocated right here um and then basically note one covers everything else which says literally this entire floor's receptacle plan needs to work when you leave so everything that's existing currently needs to be working when you leave is basically what no one said which is all receptacles in the project area are existing to remain and be recircuited please refer to ETO or E202 for new circuits and coordinate in the field so that was ED102 so ED201 is going to be, all your titles will be here at the bottom and right here in the corner for when you have a bigger set of plans. Um, anywho, so this is going to be your lighting plan. You know, it doesn't really give you how you run your circuit, but you know, these are all LEDs. So this is where you're gonna have to be kind of like the quick ways just to go down to the panel and see what they have circuited for it so you know two four six and eight and one that's what they have circuited so the easy way to do this, since everything is going to be a 2x2 two two or a 2x4, is to go up here and you have four circuits and then you divide whatever this is into fours. 
and then circuit it yourself by going, you know, let's just say for whatever instance, this is a hundred lights. I don't know how much it is, but let's just say it's a hundred lights. You would just break it up evenly. So two, like circuit two and panel PL1 would be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 you know, and go through the line. Um, and then you'd break that up about four different times and bring your circuit to each one of these different locations. All right, um, some easy things. So VS means vacancy sensor. You know, this one's gonna be a wall mounted vacancy sensor. This is a ceiling mounted occupancy sensor. Let's see. Um, the type B's are recess cans. Type A1E is gonna be an emergency two by two. Um, X1's are going to be your exit signs. So, fun fact about the exit signs is what this whole little circle is telling you is that there is an exit sign that essentially, you know, if this is the wall, you know, you're going to slap it right on top. And what this thing's telling you is that the black symbol is saying that the words are going to face up front and the arrow is going to be pointed that way. So if you were looking at it from right here, you would see the arrow going this way and you would see the exit sign lettering right there in front of you. You know, so that's what those mean in this particular case. I don't know why this little thing keeps popping up. Of course, you're going to go through your note fours, all your notes, and these particular things. Once again, if it's in a little hexagon, it'll be right here. If it's not, it refers to the entire set of plans. So, general is general for this entire page. Keyed notes are the little hexagons. So, you know just fun fact about that so we'll go through let's see this is going to be your power set of plans um i'm not sure what these guys do or whatever but you know so in the office it looks like there's going to be a data and a receptacle they're going to be right next to each other side by side and then you're going to have a regular receptacle, a quad, regular receptacle, quad data. So why is the little triangle cut in half? Because black means data, and white means voice. So voice and data, which means it's going to be two whole little deal. And if there's another little triangle on top of it with another white and another black that means there's there's two datas and two two datas two voices but it doesn't look like that's the case really anywhere but that's what that would be um j pretty simple is going to be your j box um cr is going to be your card reader to enter into this and then this weird little one's a push button um you know door contact electric strike you know um let's see it panel you know just little things like that I'm trying to see if there's anything else that can be like of notice. Oh, here we go. So, 
Um, this is a pretty good little notice. So everything on the plan is going to be per code. So 18 inches to center um, for your receptacles. And there's going to be a height list somewhere on this plans and or specs um, that says, you know, unless otherwise noted, all receptacles shall be at 18 inches to the center. So this is marked um, 44 inches above finished ground for the GFCI. So what that's stating is that this is different from everything else that's in here. Um, so whenever you see those very specific things, it's that's probably going to go above a counter or something, I would assume. You know, same thing with this one, this one, this one. All of these are going to go above a counter. Ooh. You know, here's a water heater over here. But the copier is going to go right there with a data port. And if you ever see something that's for a copier, um, like 100% of the time there's going to be a data right there. So if you don't see one, make sure you bring that up right away. Let's see. Alright. This is going to be your lighting uh, schedule. So this is going to tell you what you're receiving. You know, with your project manager got you the right stuff. It should match that exact part number because it looks like these guys want 41k to everything looks like which is good um, every once in a while you'll see oddballs you know most most time it's going to be for uh, pendant lighting um, voltage 277 it's good to know obviously not pulling a lot it's LED Here's your electrical equipment schedule. So, if, do you see this on your set of plans? It means you're responsible for it. So, just fun fact, you know, um, if you see that it says mount disconnects to your deal, you know, EC electrical con electrical contractor shall install all disconnect starters VFDs and make electrical terminations. You know, any control wiring is done by the HVAC guy. That means you're getting the goddamn disconnects, just so you know. Panel. You know, the panel's going to give you a bunch of different information on this. Um, what it's requesting right out the bat. So here's your voltage. 48277. It's 3-wire, or 4-wire, 3-phase. Um, it'll tell you on the plans allegedly where it's at. It's fed from a bus duct. Um, 200 amp main. Let's see. NEMA 1 surface mounted copper bussing. So, all of that's just, you know, information that is needed to be known for this particular little deal. So the actual total demand of this panel that we're looking at is actually 90. Um, in New Mexico when you install a new panel it can't be anything less than 200. So that's why that is what it is. You can do a sub panel or whatever less but you cannot do a new panel. And since this is going to be a new panel it looks like so this is your 120 panel another 120 panel section 2 section 3 and CR so there's a secure area in this one which has its own dedicated panel alright well I 
think that is it for our little plan mission here. So if you have any specific questions or would like to look at, um, you know, or would like me to explain something in a little bit more detail, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just leave a comment down below and uh, we'll get you taken care of, you know. I hope you guys have a great day and I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, you know. We'll keep doing these little videos and kind of move on to some other things so you guys can see that. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Have a good day, guys.